Hi, my name is Alka Dumbulder and I'm an engineer working at Cryptography Research. We are a security research and development company focused on solving some of the most complex data security problems for eliminating fraud, piracy and counterfeiting. Whenever a security device uses secret cryptographic keys to protect sensitive data or transactions, information about the secret keys can leak out from the device's power consumption or electromagnetic emission. Unfortunately, attackers can examine these leaks to recover the secret key. This is referred to as side-channel analysis, and it can be implemented on any device that uses cryptography to protect its secrets, ranging from smart cards, SOCs and FPGAs to mobile phones, tablets, PCs and servers. Let's take a look at how side-channel analysis works. This board includes an FPGA. FPGAs are programmable chips that are often used in systems for government, telecommunication, networking and security. This development board is specifically designed to test the side channel resistance of cryptographic algorithms implemented in the fabric of the FPGA. We will begin by encrypting a block of data on the FPGA board by using the popular AES encryption. This encryption algorithm uses a 128-bit input and a 128-bit key, but internally it only processes them in 8-bit chunks. Since our plain text is much larger than 128 bits, the FPGA uses a common chaining mode. This generates a power consumption trace of 10,000 chained AES operations. If we zoom in on the scope and focus on an individual AES operation, we can clearly see the 10 rounds of AES. At each point in time, the power consumption depends on the activity and the intermediates that are being processed in a round. But since these traces are noisy, one single AES encryption will not give us enough information to reveal the secret key. However, if we combine multiple AES operations using statistical techniques, we can use them to check a series of key guesses and begin recovering the key. Focusing on 8 bits at a time, we'll look at the AES operation, which consists of three variables, the input, the key, and the SPOX table entry. If we guess 8 bits of the key, and we know the 8 bits of input, we can predict the other variable, and we can correlate it against the 10,000 AES operations and the 10,000 corresponding ciphertexts. If the key guess was wrong, then the values being predicted are not related to anything that's being done within the FPGA. So there will be little to no correlation between the predictions and the power traces. If our key guess is correct, then the FPGA will process the correctly predicted intermediates, so the power traces should correlate with the predictions. Here we are predicting the 8 bits that go into the 15th as box table lookup. This trace is a correlation for key guess equal to zero. And as you can see, the correlation is low. If we look at the correlations for the other key guesses, you will see that they are also low, but as the right key guess comes along, we see a big correlation peak. Once we have the 15th byte of the key, we can repeat this analysis using the same 10,000 traces for the key byte involved in the 14th S-Box lookup, and so on, until we recover all 16 bytes of the key. An attacker can easily automate this entire side channel analysis to recover the key in only a few seconds or minutes. Once the key is recovered, an attacker can steal data, forge identities, make fraudulent transactions and even modify the device for other illegal activities. At Cryptography Research, we help customers defend against side channel attacks by using countermeasures that can be applied at the software, hardware and protocol layers. In fact, our patented DPA countermeasures are deployed in over 6 billion devices made every year. For more information about side channel analysis and how to secure your products, visit us at cryptography.com. <laughs>